The Tamiya Claude Buster. Back in the 80s when this thing came out, it was an immediate hit, and it's still a legend to this very day. This is mine. So guys, that's what we're going to take a look at today. I'm going to show you guys what's under the body, in the chassis, and then we're taking it outside. Take a look. When I painted this, I really wanted it to look like the one on the box. So I just kind of followed their rules or their <laughs> design and just try to make it look just like it. Yes, that is a uh, Rust-Oleum blue and a Rust-Oleum silver. This is painted on the outside. I mean, it is a hard body. And there is actually a silver paint there that is not sticker. So I'm going to raise the body on this. And here you can see an eight channel receiver. There are light controllers and there's one BEC. Now the BEC is to drop the voltage down from the main battery to where I don't burn all that stuff up, which some of those are 3S, but I really didn't want to, uh, or 3S capable, I did not want to burn the receiver up. You can see some wires going through there for those lights, headlights. Uh, let me see here. Wires heading through. Oh, right here they are. <laughs> for the roll bar lights. So, and all these JSTs are connected with a single Dean's plug. So I can remove all of that nice and simple. And now we have the chassis. Now this plate right here comes up. In stock form, your servo is down in the belly. Well, here's a Hobbywing 880 ESC. There's a six channel receiver. Both of these receivers are binded to the same radio, so they both just simply work together. So not a problem at all with that. See some of my wonderful wiring jobs. Let's see, we have the light right there. And I also have chassis lights. I believe those are by PowerShift RC. So they're actually for crawlers, but you know, they work pretty good here. This thing has dust on it from just sitting on the shelf. Still uses the battery battery piece to go in there. Let's take a quick peek. Yes, I have got some wires in there, huh? So, oh, let's take a look at these wheels real quick. These wheels I got off of eBay. They're adjustable backspace too, so you can kind of adjust them a pretty good bit actually. So they can fit many different trucks with a 12 millimeter wheel hex. Servos, like I mentioned, Hobby King 15298B. And for what I'm doing with this, it's pretty easy. I did change out the steering links, obviously. Other than that, it's pretty much stock with bearings. Uh, I believe that's a uh, CPE servo mount. Picked up a couple of those. So yeah, pretty simple build. Now we're gonna get this off. I've got this thing loose. And let's see here. There is another BEC right there, two more light controllers, a whole bunch of wiring. In stock form, there's a steering servo and two really long links are supposed to be connected right down in there, but obviously that is not there. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, it took me quite a while to get all this stuff set up. But Oh, and just so you know, this is not a an original 1980s truck. This is actually a re-release. Re, re and you can tell that right here on the grill. The legit 1980s truck has a Chevrolet emblem right there. So, yep, yeah, this is not an actual bow tie. So it's not worth as much as if it was original. Still worth something to me though. This is quite the tall and square truck for sure. Of course it has the Hack Flask Guy GT3C. So I got some crab in it. Got some of this. I can do front steer only, which is really big turn. I can do rear steer only, but this one is best with four wheel steer. 
I'm just running a 2S on this. There's no point in really getting crazy. This is not one to really beat up. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you guys a blower. <laughs> Them red lights come on beautifully. <laughs> yeah, this is not like an X Max or something where you can just really get crazy with it. Well, actually, you can take this thing and get the parts, pieces, and just get really crazy with it. I mean, they make race quads. This is not a race quad. <laughs> It's so square. Look at this thing. It's like driving a square. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh man. Let's get another shot of that. I think I missed the uh landing not the most graceful of trucks let me tell you Here we are guys, let's check out them lights. Headlights, um, under lights, I guess you could say. The roll bar lights, those are the brightest. And then we have the chassis lights. Check that out right there. Now we're gonna turn these lights off because they are uh, really, really bright. Now, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it had like tail lights. Let's see if there's anything out there for that. Oh yeah. This could be the first vehicle I think I've ever had that I really wanted a lot of lights on, you know? I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> yes, I hit the ramps.
This thing is awesome. I totally need to drive this more. <laughs> so guys, what do you think? It is slow. It is kind of clumsy. But you know, it's just a thrill of driving this kind of a truck, you know? It's not an X-Max. It's not a Slash. It's not a Mojave. It's, it's its own little beast. And I say little because modern times, this is actually kind of a small truck, you know? Back in the day, back in the early 80s, this thing was massive. Assembling this truck was a but was an experience all in its own. They still come with plastic bushings. Now, not sure if you noticed, but you know, nice metal wheels, got those off of eBay. There are links all through eBay, uh, different things like this in the description. So the lights, you know, I got different lights from different manufacturers. Got the red LEDs up here in the blower. Hopefully you guys like that, especially the nighttime stuff. And guys, uh, hey, it's just, it's just a fun truck, and it's a different kind of driving, if that makes any sense at all. So, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Check that description for affiliate links, eBay, Amazon, and Amade. If you have something in your cart, come to any one of my videos. Click the link. Go and check out. It helps. Every little bit helps. Guys, hopefully you liked the video, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.